Uh, and there's several birds there. But anyway, I'm going to continue throwing something out here and hope that the other birds come out and land. I don't see, maybe that's Charlie over there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, that could be Charlie up on the, uh, on the box there. Let's see if we can get hold of our little Charlie. So, perhaps he's waiting for me there. We'll give him something on the electrical box. Looks like Charlie sitting there. Really does. So we'll see. We'll see if he stays there until I get there. It could be he was waiting for me to put something on there. Because he's used to that. Yeah, it looks like Charlie. Look at that, YouTubers. Oh, now he's flying away. Let's put something down and let's see if he comes back. There's someone near crossing the street, so I'm not sure that Charlie will come, but we'll see. There we go. Getting down for that Charlie. There we go, Charlie. Charlie can't make it up there. And we'll throw something here. Oh, the hawk's here. Hawk's here. Hawk's here. Oh, maybe that's why he's... Uh... Oh, look at that. Is that our Charlie coming after the hawk? Oh, wow. Look at that. Funny thing, I don't see any birds protecting that nest over there. Unless someone did something to the birds. That could very well be. So, wow. Well, if that's Charlie, he's attacking that hawk. He's going after, oh. He saw the sausage. He's after the sausage. Look at that. That's for you, Jeremy. That's your red kite. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that. They're trying to drive him out of the area. He's going to come down and try and get some of that sausage there. Or land on the field. Well, that could be what they saw, what disturbed them. Uh, about three, four minutes ago. It could have been the hawk. There he goes. There's the hawk. There he is. There he is, YouTubers. What's he eating there? Looks like he's eating bread. Of course, he sees me standing there. It probably doesn't feel comfortable. Um, but it was just amazing we got him. That's that one single hawk. It's a loner. Um... Look at that. That's amazing. There he goes. There he goes. Wow. He wants to get down there, and get some of that food. There he lands. There he is. breathtaking there he goes he got something something fell down it's very hard with his talons um, because the pieces are so small um, it's hard, hard to uh, take hold of little, t of little small pieces wow amazing We'll see if he lands again. We'll take our bag here and go, and maybe he'll land. I'm a little bit too close for him. We'll take this and go. But somehow, 
if his, his sense of smell is as keen as the crows, which I, which I gather it is, don't know scientifically, but I just assume it's as good, if not better. Um, he smells me, and he smells me on the food. So, but anyway, I will uh, let them eat in peace was you know wonderful um video and the fact that we were able to get the little red kite again and charlie came down so we'll leave the birds in peace um it looks like the hawk took off uh oh they're going after the food on the uh on the electrical box i'm not sure if charlie got any but charlie's going to get um some good some good eats tonight so trying to see if i have anything left here no gave it all out okay so we'll let the birds eat in peace the hawk took off or is he coming back he might be coming back here but now i'm not on the field anymore there he comes there comes our little resident red kite. He's trying to figure out what to do. So, amazing. Now, right now he's just soaring up in the air. So, he may be uh, getting ready to, uh, to, um, to land. To make sure I didn't get that woman baby in my YouTube video. So I'm going to sign off now and let the birds uh, do what they need to do and not disturb them any more than they have to. This is DC Danton Crow Crusader. It was a good day because Charlie came down and he's slowly but slowly coming back to us. Uh, wow. Because I lost a lot of sleep. You know, when I don't see Charlie, it's, uh, he's become for the last seven years such a family member. But like Anita says, it's very hard to um, keep uh, a wild bird, uh, you know, to have a, a handle on it. Uh, unless you put a, you know, unless you put a um, kind of a chip where you could track it. Uh, which I'm not f for for doing that. Um, maybe in the bands there, there there's a chip. I, I'm not sure. I'd have to read up on that. I'm not really familiar too much when they ban the animals. I know they, they do that with serial numbers to track them. And there are um, institutes here, the University of Constance here in Germany, uh, where they're doing research and they are tracking birds. And I think there's one or two bird sanctuaries here where birds can be taken in or rescued and then they're tagged. Uh, so, um, but I don't know too much about it. So I can't really comment intelligently about it. Uh, I have to read up on it and learn about it. So YouTubers, I'm still learning about, uh, about the wild birds. In seven, eight years, I'm still, I'm still learning about them. Uh, my forte was livestock, so I can tell you quite a bit about cows and sheep uh, and goats and chickens, but don't know, you know, still learning about the birds, and uh, I learn every day from them, and, uh, you know, the one thing I kept saying, uh, I'll be sending that article out from the Max Planck Institute, I'll be sending that out. Uh, to different animal organizations across Switzerland and across the world and direct them to my YouTube channel. Of course, there's probably a lot of things they don't like, especially if they're Swiss there. They may think those comments are anti-Swiss. No, they're, they're anti-bird haters. No matter, I don't care what their ethnicity is. I, have, I don't, really don't care. I don't care what country they're from. I don't care what passport they, they uh, carry. I really don't care, okay? I care about how they treat the birds. I care about what they do against the birds. Um, that's what I care about. 
So, being raised in America, I have different mentality. Um, I'm open to every different culture and person unless you prove me otherwise. Uh, I'm not judgmental, uh, but I will judge you. If I see you poisoning a bird or so forth, well, then I have the, then I have the data, then I have the information. So it's all about having the facts. And um, yeah, and some things you can conclude from daily observations, and then you can also make a conclusion from that. And I have done that. Um, so because I observe basically uh, from three o'clock in the morning until eight o'clock at night, practically seven days a week, except when I visit my son, uh, which isn't very often. So, because he's always lived so far away. Um, but other than, other than that, that I, I don't go on vacation. Um, I don't even go for, for long day trips. I don't even do that because the birds are a full-time commitment. Running a feeding station is a full-time job. And, uh, and just the buying the food and preparing it, uh, and I do that all myself, plus run a household, uh, rescue cats, and take care of my own cat, and sick husband, and you know, cater after my aging parents via telephone. Uh, so yeah, daily. This is daily, daily work, my daily routine. So, yeah.